highest ranked player in Nebraska. They have him ranked as a three star with an 89 rating, I think, and a hard commit to the Huskers. Obviously, with him still being a junior, yeah, junior in high school this year, I hope that he could grow a little more. Who knows? But even if he doesn't, I still think he could be a really solid player. Even though I believe we were his only major D1 offer, though it was a really early time period for us to be offering. Since then, Donovan has been very vocal about recruiting other players to the Nebraska basketball team. He definitely has been recruiting a Cole Rope, who is a 2019 prospect with a Nebraska offer. He also tweeted at Marquise Jacobs, who just recently decommitted from Kansas and got immediately got an offer from the Huskers. But right now I'd like to focus in a little bit on a Cola Rope. He is another person with history with the Huskers that didn't go so well. Um his brother was in early commit to the Huskers back in like 2015 or 14 and the Huskers didn't see him um, playing very much his freshman year, or so they would let they wanted him to go to a prep school and reclassify for I think the 2018 season, but he didn't want to, so he instead went to I believe San Diego State, and I wish him the best over there. Hopefully, he'll be able to do well, but a Cole has been getting a lot of attention from the Huskers lately. He had an unofficial visit on August like 19th, maybe 18th, and it seemed to go pretty well. He was recorded as earlier having a 35-inch vertical, which is pretty impressive. Actually, very, very impressive <laughs> as... Most guys, I think that average is like 28 to 30 from what I've looked up, which always surprises me. It seems a little lower than I'd think. But he has scheduled official visits for going to Tulsa, Drake, and finally his last one, Nebraska. And I think a lot of people believe that he's just setting it up so we'll be the last one and it kind of looks like we're going to get him to commit. But as of, I think, four hours ago, I just saw this as I was looking on his Twitter page, Creighton has now offered a Cole, if that's how you say it. Um, and that really mixes things up because they didn't have much interest in him at first. But we really don't know how he feels about Creighton. But obviously, they're an in-state school, and it seems like he would be um, pretty excited to maybe go play for them, too. He's, I think, grown up, or at least right now, he's living in Omaha. And that really will stir the pot and add in another team that really has a chance into the mix. As for his upcoming season... As uh, his final season at Creighton Prep, he is a six foot five and one hundred ninety pound prospect, and he'll be playing a bigger role, I think, this year. Creighton Prep had a lot of sol really solid players last year, and he'll kind of take over as the senior. And so, if any of you guys see Creighton Prep coming to either Lincoln or if you live in Omaha, go check him out. Hopefully, he and Donovan will have a really solid season this year. And the in state recruits keep rolling for the Big Red. Another guy to keep your eye on is a 2020 prospect named Ben Carlson. He's a power forward who's 6'9 
and 205 pounds as listed by 24-7 Sports. His 24-7 national composite is ranked at 80. He's 13th power forward and 4th player at Minnesota. Right now, he has offers from Stamford, Colorado, Creighton, Davidson, Iowa, and he's actually taken an official visit last year with um, at to Nebraska, and I think a lot of those other schools, they were all unofficial, but he seems to be moving along his recruiting process pretty quickly. He apparently wants to make a decision uh, before his senior year next year, his senior season, and I think he's visiting again. Nope, he did already visit here last weekend for, no, two weekends ago. For There was the Husker volleyball game and kickoff for all the events for UNL students. So hopefully that was a good time for him to be here and just keep watching him as he looks to make his decision. Also, as I mentioned earlier, there is a... 6'3", 180-pound shooting guard who will be in the class of 2019 who just decommitted from Kansas and immediately picked up a Huskers offer. He is one of the top players in Chicago and would be a really big get to get this late in the process, but really any time in the process because he's a really special player who is going to be pursued by a lot of different teams. Finally, the Huskers made a pretty big splash by offering Zaire Wade, who is in the 2020 class, obviously the son of Dwayne Wade, and he will be attending uh, the first Husker football game, which is coming up this weekend. So hopefully we actually are his first uh, offer from a power school, power five school, and he hasn't, he's not in the top 100 or anything, so it's not like we're offering the number two recruit. He hasn't shown to be that type of player yet, but I think uh, anybody with a father with Dwayne Wade hopefully can have some crazy athletic ability and the right work ethic to get the job done. So I really like the offer put out by Nebraska and hopefully we can use kind of those connections because uh, Dwayne Wade's wife Gabrielle Union is from Nebraska and hopefully we can really just use that to get uh, what should be a great player in Zaire Wade so I think that's all the stuff that I have to talk about this week Um, I hope There's more news to come, and soon we'll have real basketball. So until next time, go Big Red, and hopefully we'll be back with one or two Husker football wins before the next podcast.